The missing tooth. Isn't this good, Peter Arlo? Come again, boys. Arlo and Robbie were best friends. They both rode green bikes with horns that went wonka wonka. I'm calling my second aunt Eddie today. They both had ant farms and horned toads. They both like to trade baseball cards, and they both loved peanut butter ice cream. Arlo said, "I think we're best friends because we are so much alike. We even have a tooth missing in the same place." One day at school, their teacher said, "Arlo and Robbie, look at you today." Arlo and Robbie laughed. They both had on blue robot man shirts, red pants, and black sneakers. Arlo put his arm around Robbie. He said, "We match all over, even our teeth match." Then Arlo and Robbie both smiled a big smile, so everyone could see. Later, Robbie and Arlo were playing checkers. Robbie said, "Guess what? My other front tooth is loose." He wiggled his tooth. Arlo wanted to be the same as Robbie. He tried to wiggle his tooth. I think mine is loose too, he said, but it really wasn't. Let's make a bet," said Robbie. If my tooth comes out first, you have to give me ten cents. If your tooth comes out first, I have to give you ten cents. Is that a deal? Arlo did not want to make the deal, but he said yes anyway. They shook on it. A few days later, Robbie went to Arlo's house. They were going to trade baseball cards. Hi. Robbie had a Pete Rose card. I wish I had the Pete Rose card," said Arlo. "Will you trade it?" Robbie shook his head. "No, Arlo," he said. "It's my best card. I cannot trade it." Arlo got up. "I'm hungry," he said. "Let's not trade cards anymore." Arlo got two apples. He gave one to Robbie. They sat outside together. Robbie bit into his apple. He put his hand over his mouth. Look, Arlo, my other tooth came out. Robbie held out his hand. The tooth was in it. Gee, said Arlo, that's neat. But now we are not the same. Robbie did not seem to hear. He saw Mr. Walker go by. Mr. Walker shouted, "Robbie, I just lost a tooth." Well, well," said Mr. Walker. "The tooth fairy will be coming to your house tonight." With my tooth fairy money, I can buy more baseball cards," said Robbie. Then Robbie looked at Arlo. "Hey, I almost forgot we had a bet. My tooth came out first. You have to give me ten cents." Arlo gave Robbie the money, but he was mad. Robbie was going to get money from the tooth fairy. Robbie was going to get more baseball cards, and Robbie already had a Pete Rose card. It was not fair. Robbie had everything. Arlo went into the backyard. Robbie followed him. Arlo began to swing on his tire. Can I swing too? Asked Robbie. No, said Arlo. Let's play ball, said Robbie. I don't want to, said Arlo. 
If you will not play, said Robbie, I'm going home. Hurry up, said Arlo. Don't keep the tooth fairy waiting. You are mean, said Robbie. I don't want to play with you anymore. And Robbie went home. Arlo went inside. He made a tower of blocks. Then he pushed it down. He felt as lonely as his one space in front. The next day, Arlo did not say hello to Robbie. At show and tell, Robbie showed his tooth money. Wow! He also showed his box of baseball cards. I'm going to buy more baseball cards today, said Robbie. After show and tell, Robbie put away his baseball cards. One fell out. Robbie did not see it, but Arlo did. Arlo picked it up. It was the Pete Rose card. Arlo wanted to keep the card. He almost put it in his pocket. Then he looked at Robbie. It was Robbie's card. He would be sad without it. It was wrong for Arlo to take it. Robbie was feeding the fish. Arlo went over to him. Here, Robbie, said Arlo. You dropped this. Gee, thanks, Arlo, said Robbie. Robbie went and put the card in his box. I'm sorry we had a fight, Robbie said. Arlo nodded. Me too, he said. Robbie took something out of his pocket. It was ten cents. Take this back, said Robbie. It was stupid to make a bet. Arlo thought for a moment. Then he said, No, you keep it. A bet is a bet. Come on, let's go play. Arlo and Robbie went out to the jungle gym. They climbed up to the top. Arlo hung upside down. His mouth bumped on the bar. Arlo sat up. His hand was over his mouth. Robbie, look at this, cried Arlo. Arlo held out his hand. There was a tooth in it. Now we have matching teeth again, said Robbie. No, we don't, said Arlo. Arlo opened his mouth. The hole was in a different place. Arlo and Robbie both smiled a big smile. They did not have matching teeth, but they were best friends anyway.